Another road trip. It's tough to play all these games in a row on the road. It is, and, and if, when we get through this, it'll be five and seven, and if we can survive it with um, a couple more wins, and we put ourselves in really good shape because at some point it flips and you got five out of seven at home. It seems like the team's made progress, especially on the defensive end of the court. We're playing better, uh, I think, in all areas. Uh, certainly we had to after Louisiana Tech loss where we were uh, completely disrupted by them. Uh, hopefully we learn from that. I think we're sharing the ball better. I think we're defending better. See Omega coming out here. He's no longer playing like a freshman, is he? Well, you know, I think when they've gone through uh, as many games as he's been through that they, they should be considered sophomores. You, you should be able to trust them in different situations. That you can't necessarily trust them in the first five or six games. Uh, you expect them to grow from, from their experiences. And uh, he, he's gotten better in a lot of ways. Talk to me about Western. Western's a team that has the best offensive rebounder in our league, a young man that we tried to recruit named Fant, who's a senior, veteran, big-bodied rebounder, defender, scorer. And they have a leading scorer in our league, another guy by the name of P.J. Price, who, who we also tried to recruit. Uh, he just flat wears it out from the three-point line, 48% uh, from there, but can also post and put it on the floor. Um, transfer from Butler also plays. Transfer from Texas Tech also starts. It's a veteran team, a team that can win our league, and uh, the record indicates that at 5-0. and oh. Did uh, did Vince limp off the court at the end of the game, he fine? He did. He, he, uh, he, he, he tweaked uh, a knee. Uh, we went through the necessary precautions. We got uh, two different MRIs from two different doctors, uh, two opinions, and uh, right now he has a sprain uh, and he's pain tolerant to play. Uh, this is the toughest road challenge so far this season. How important was it winning those three games on the road against North Texas, Rice, and UTSA going into a tough game in Bowling Green? Well, you, you have to learn how to win on the road, something we didn't do in non-conference play, losing to Colorado State. In Mexico State, so uh, certainly it's probably helped us confidence-wise. Uh, uh, this game will be more like the Colorado State and New Mexico State games in terms of talent, uh, ability, crowd, um, and, and experience that we're playing against. So certainly the biggest challenge that we played on the road since pre-conference. UTEP winning 12 out of their last 13 road games. How big of a is that for the team going into this match? Yeah, you know, well, uh, Irvin and, and Omega had not experienced that. So that's where it's important. Our older guys had. And I think it's important for those guys to know that we can win on the road. If we play smart, if we don't foul, if we don't turn it over and defend at a high level. Talk a little chance. bit more about Irvin, because I think he's really picked it up defensively. Well, he's played well on the road for us. He's had a couple games of 22 and 23 in his last three games on the road. And defensively, uh, we gave him the nod just because uh, we were scratching our head who was going to be the secondary defender after Julian and, and go get uh, the second best player out of the game. He's done that the last three games he's played in, and we're going to continue to throw him out there as a result. Coach is just complimentary of your game that you can't really be considered a, a freshman anymore. Do you feel like the experience is, is paying off? Uh, you can say that. I mean, I played a lot of games. I played against a lot of people, so I can see what I'm, I'm going up against, and I just got to go out there and get better and just continue to play my game and help uh, UTEP do what I can do so we can win the game. It seems like you're getting more and more responsibilities as, as the season goes along. Uh, yes, I, uh, I guess that just comes with uh, being a point guard, really. That's all I can say. Talk about playing on the road, different atmosphere and different challenge for the team. Uh, yeah, when you go away, it's just like the other crowd, they don't like you. So like you just, I mean, it's not like you're playing against the crowd, but like it like just brings a different type of intensity because you hear all the stuff that they're saying. So like, it's not like people cheering for you, it's like you're going against them. Do you like that? Yes, it, it gives me going. After winning the first three road conference games this season, how much is the confidence on the team going gone up on the road? From zero to 100, uh, pretty much. Like we all got a lot of more confidence. Like everybody feeling more comfortable. We were, we were coming better as a team, getting in here, practice every day, and we just gonna get ready. Being the newcomer with most more starts this far this season, how, how what does that mean to you? Uh, not much. I'm just trying to help. Them. I'm trying to help them win. Sometimes you guys come in and don't realize how important it is to play defense. I, I think your game has really improved defensively. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's one thing that I always pride my game on, uh, taking defense and personal, uh, because, I mean, playing basketball, everybody can put the ball in the, in the hole, so if you can stop your guy and then put it in the hole, then that makes, I think that makes you a better player. Did it surprise you at all how much Tim, Coach Floyd, emphasizes uh, the defensive end of the court and how much more playing time you get when you can 
shut down your man? Uh, no, it don't surprise me at all. I, I, I pretty much knew he was a defensive-minded guy. When I first met him, that was uh, kind of the first thing he told me, we're going to be built uh, defensively. And uh, I really like that because I, li I, I like to play defense. Not many people like to play defense, but it's not really that bad if you really cut down the play. So that's, that's not really a surprise. What do you know about Western Kentucky? Uh, I do know that they're five and zero, and uh, one of the one of the guards is the top scorer in the in the conference. Uh, they have a, also have a big man that's averaging almost a double double, and uh, they're five and zero. What's the biggest difference been for you, Irvin, between starting the game and coming in from the bench? Um, I, don't, I don't. I honestly don't think this is really much of a difference because I've always in my career I've always, always been the guy that started, and uh, coming off the bench is just like I mean getting ready to start, but. I mean, to sit on the bench and then see how the game going, how, how the game flow, how the rest call it. And uh, I think that's kind of an advantage, but I mean, I don't, I don't mind, so mind starting. Three conference road games, three games where Irvin Morris has been the leading scorer for the team. What's been the difference for you being on the court and the road and being the best player on the team on those games? Uh, I mean, I just, I just like playing on the road. I like the, I like the adversity. I like, the, uh, I like having a whole another fan base against you. Like, yeah, I mean, I just like the, the thrill of that. And that I mean, that just gives me momentum and keeps me playing.